key to catch out some of those flip kicks and other aerial options. Yeah, no, that makes total sense. Getting into game number one here on PS2, both players just looking to get right into it. it oh, it, just looking for a little bit of like a neutral scramble. Both of them looking for some multi hits. I mean, obviously Krabby doing a great job just finding the nair. That's one of those like really nice moves because it's like a long lasting move that can catch all of the who's finding some of like that stalling in the air strategy. Um, it yeah. might not work out if Krabby is able to utilize that effectively. No, absolutely. Just looking pit, dark pit here as well. Right, the, the, those arrows don't have as much flexibility, but they do combo. They do kill a lot more strongly. You see a very common trend of them looking for the for dark pit over pit as you. Mm saying earlier, but finding the first stock off an up smash, and so far, Krabby just hasn't let all of the above land at all. Yeah, so far, it's looking like the Krabby show doing a great job, but I mean, all of you have, I, I like the idea going for some of these, like, quick combo breaker down airs, like that low, like, short hop height. This is a way to kind of challenge Krabby's aerial uh, dominance so far, I would definitely say, but we'll, we'll have to see if this edge guard pans out. And I, I really like just the immediate double jump flip kick. Yes, it's on paper, it's an overextension of resources, but it, it allowed him to get out of the situation for free where Krabby has been so good. Now the reversal right has Krabby in the corner, and this is his opportunity to really make up some of that lost ground from that uh, first off. But unable to get anything with that down smash, so we are looking for a grab here, get some back off stage, and now uh, there's just another rinse and repeat. We're trying to find this answer here, and all of the BF unable to take this stock. Krabby doing a great job of staying alive at these higher percents for a lighter character like Dark Pit. Yeah, no, absolutely. And as well, like one of, I think one of the things that's been really interesting, finding the Zare back air, air uh, that's that's a, a post-quarantine ZSS kill confirm if there ever has been one. But crazy. we're seeing now, right, all of the above just finally starting to be able to get in. Krabby was doing such a good job earlier playing right outside of ZSS. This very large burst range, but mm. has oh. been... Cra bleh. All of the above has been making some great adjustments, but Krabby now coming back, finding the corner situation. What can he make happen here? Yeah, I mean, right now, looking really hard for this up smash. I mean, Krabby, I, I, I respect it. It's an anti-air, and it is one of those, like, ones that can catch people with the multiple hits. Um, but all of, all of the above is just still getting caught by some of the stuff. And even now, the grabs are coming out for Krabby. The forward throw as well can be a very dangerous uh, and potent option here, but not even going to need it. The back air is all that is required, and Krabby takes yet another stock. Yeah, and the beautiful reaction ledge trap up at, after a great route from all of the above to find his way back to stage. Now, out, all of the above just trying to get any amount of breathing room, trying to find his way back to neutral, gets the stage control, mm. but just still isn't able to find a way in. Krabby's spacing has been absolutely immaculate so far in this first right. game. And you can see Krabby doing some of these like, like fading arrows, which is mm. really good because if they clank with something like a Zare, um, it can really mess up all of the above because now he's in more hit stun and Krabby is ready to act faster. Uh, it's really just a losing strategy. It's becoming untenable and Allo is now just stuck on this uh, on this juggle. He just cannot find his way back to, uh, to, to center stage. No, not at all. And again, this is where Krabby has been thriving is just not ever letting all of the above reset. And normally ZS has, right, the, the saying is because of flip kick, she doesn't play disadvantage. But so far, all she's had to do is play disadvantage. Exactly, and that dash attack going to uh, be a very dangerous option here as well. Could be a DI mix-up down the line, but we are going to get the up smash regardless. Covering that platform very well. Krabby knows how to uh, make sure that every single interaction gets all of the above above him. He's going to find the stock in yeah. some way. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. And that up smash, I think MVP of that last stock there, he hit four or five of them. It was after, damage and mm -hmm. kill, right? Yeah, damage and kill. He realized that that first up tilt he went for, it didn't quite hit platform, mm -hmm. and he said, okay, hey, I don't get the combos, I don't get the kill confirms. Off up smash, I'd get off up tilt, but it hits right. a little higher, it's got a disjoint, point. so it's a little bit more versatile to catch these landing options, and I'm calling out all of the above's landings over and over and over, mm -hmm. and I really like the way Krabby continued to catch, catch all of the above's landings, but find adjustment and mix up the options he was using to do so, such that right. all of the above couldn't really get a handle on how to do it. But getting into game two here, what do you think the Smash will counter pick? I mean, I think it's going to be incredibly necessary because we saw how the long range benefited Krabby in that last game, right? The arrows alone were uh, 
Okay. Big issue for Allo. Uh, we are going to bring it to a more close quarter stage here, but at the same time, I think that what you were just talking about is like using the full breadth of the kit that Krabby has been able to do is going to be even more potent here because now those multi-hits, that disjoint is going to be a bigger threat, I, I fear, for Allo. Yeah, no, absolutely. And finding the arrow, but not able to find that Ed Edgar off of it. it. Now he's kind of overextension, putting him in the corner, and this is all of the above's first real advantage state so far. This set what can he do to capitalize off of it? I mean, so far he's looking for a juggle, but you can see those orbiters like now making it much harder for all of the above to get the same kind of advantage state that Krabby was able to get the last game, right? Even then, he's still finding a reversal and it's the up smash yet again. Yeah, and the pivot walk, Krabby feeling himself here, coming into the second stock, finding the Nair into the fair, just racking on the damage, carrying the coast to coast. Mm. And so far, the small stage really has not been all of the above to all of the above's benefit because right. he just hasn't been able to get away. Right, and now he's like missing a lot of key techs, is getting caught by a lot of reads, and it's a lot of reactions too. Mm. Krabby able to follow up with plenty of time to get these punishes, and all of the above managed to scramble his way out, but even then can't secure an edge guard here. Krabby is so aggressive from disadvantage. We are going to get a big call out with that uh, jump kick. We need something else. The boost, that, like, the boost is just not going to do it. We, yeah. need boost, we need to boost the boost. Yeah, you just got to boost, you know, unfortunately, boost kick, you know, that frame six now is still good, but not quite yeah, what it was in its glory days. It's, it's all of the above trying to unlock that. Uh, you mentioned that you're really close friends with all of the above. How many, do you know how, if he has a lot of Dark Pit matchup experience? Because this character is not super common. Uh, so, I mean, the only other pit that's really in our region other than Krabby is going to be Cold Weather. Mm -hmm. uh, Cold Weather does play enough, and I wonder if all of the above has played Cold Weather enough. I mean, I, I know that all of is also like, you know, there's a lot of real life stuff going on right now. So it's like, you know, it's like you got to be careful. It's like there's not time to practice as much. So maybe a little bit of Rusty. And I think I did see him tweet out that he might be a little Rusty going to this Arcadian. I might actually, I, I might not be making that up, but I might be making that up. I don't know. I, I can't remember. Yeah, well, Either way. well, let us know later if Nerf lied to the people or not. But finding the stock, Krabby now one away from sealing this out 2-0. All of the above looking to make something happen. Has a ledge trap to find the opportunity, but not able to capitalize. Krabby is played so patient and, and just not let, not held forward at any point to let ZSS capitalize uh, eyes on your mistakes. Finally doing so there. Mm. And just like that, we're right back to even Nerf. Yeah. It's it's literally going to be uh, down to the wire, I think, in this game because uh, all of the above is making this a lot closer, but Krabby's still finding a lot of this damage, and I think it's starting to become like one of those situations where Krabby, again, gets great advantage state, and you just need one of those kind of cheesier kills. Dark Pit's got them. One of the reasons we haven't seen, uh, you know, like the, the, the intentional pick to... Uh, to Dark Pit over Pit the side B, yep. right? But we are seeing it now as a recovery tool. And that was a beautiful route back to stage. A a age. Both these players have been so good at the mix up. No way. The down 75? smash is not going to do it just yet. Thank God. At great DI from all of the above to be ready for that in that situation. But he's still in the corner. He still has to find a way out using Zare to do so, oh, but God. missing the up smash. Man, Mars Mars is laughing somewhere right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, chuckling to himself, but that's okay. You know, this character still has got the sauce in the tank, but that's not going to kill. No yeah. way! No, and you have jump, you have flip kick, right? ZSS gets back seven days a oh. week with a Ooh. tether. Or, oh, come on, not, not again. Back, okay, do it again, do it again, one? do it again. No, wait. Yeah, this yeah, is literally kill say, screens galore. It's, it's, I mean, it was stale at that point, right? It was yeah, the third one, but there's the up smash. Instantly deleted. Right. MVP at the set. I'm serious. That, yeah, the up smash has been absolutely crucial uh, against an aerial character like CSS. We kind of expected it, and it's going to prove true. And of course, uh, speaking of proving true, uh, I'm not going to lie. He tweeted like 20, 20 minutes ago, uh-oh, laughing emoji, and posted a picture of the, the set. Krabby versus all of the above. It is Look. Him. And now we know exactly how that ended. Nerf, nerf, nerf knows his stuff. And if you just, didn't know, now you know. <laughs> anyway, that is just how it goes. Uh, unfortunately, all of the above going to have a chance in losers to make that up. Uh, but Krabby, I definitely say, is one of those gatekeepers of this region, especially now in this Arcadium, is going to make waves. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if Krabby makes it all the way to top eight. I yeah. really wouldn't be. I mean, the way he was playing, I, I wouldn't be either. One of the